Hi everybody, it's Ella. Um, I was kind of thinking today that this is my video blog channel and I don't really have a lot of blogs on here. I just have kind of random compilation vids and not like I'm trying to put this channel into like a box or anything or be like, these are the kind of videos I want on this channel because I love making those compilation vids. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can check out my last one, which was Christmas Monsters. And it's just, you know, random clips from, you know, a holiday festival that me and my friend went to. And while it is hilarious and it's unexpected randomness, a lot of S's, uh, it also doesn't make very sense, very much sense, and it doesn't really show you anything about who I am, so I thought maybe I should do something like a daily vlog, yeah, daily vlog, I do not like that word, but I will say it, daily vlog, to show you, sort of, show you guys who I am, to sort of peel back the figurative face, mask, <laughs> sorry, I'm not peeling off my face, that would be kind of messy, lots of stuff dripping onto my keyboard, don't need that. And I was on Tumblr today and tumbling along, not really, my Tumblr's really depressing, I don't really know what the hell I'm supposed to do with it, I, I've only had it for like two days, and I'm only, I'm following like one person, so I basically just read her life story, and then I was just kind of sitting there listening to the crickets, and I was just kind of like, okay, well this is totally pointless, and then this thing just was like, 30 day challenge! You know, a question that you're supposed to answer for every day for 30 days. And I was like, why don't I do that in video blog format? And I can make each, every day for 30 days, I can answer these questions. And they're deep questions. Yeah, so today's question for the numero uno of the 30 day blog challenge thing. Um, December 9th at 8 o'clock. So, let's get cracking. The question was, describe your day today. Um, just tell what you did and then tell if you if like if, if it was the last day of your life How do you, how would you feel about it? All right, so that's easy question. I got up at like four. No I went to bed at four got up at like eight. I was in that total zombie <laughs> Like sleep coma mode where you're too tired to do anything but too awake to go back to sleep rolled my little my little self in on the couch watched me some cartoons because I, I love, sorry, I totally thought there was like a ghost on my ceiling. I love <laughs> cartoons. I love my Invader Zim, Ed, Ed and Eddie, um, Cat Dog, Rocco's Modern Life, Dexter's Laboratory, uh, Cow and Chicken, Aqua Teen Hunger Force, Robot Chicken, South Park, Ugly Americans. Really, if it's anything animated, I probably watch it religiously or at least heard of it. Did I mention Ed? Ed, 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 Nettie, Ed, 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 Sorry. Meh. Um, so yeah, watch that. YouTubed around on my laptop. Um, wasted a ton of time that I should have been doing my homework, but, you know, it's been really hard for me to focus lately. Um, my grandpa just had a stroke on Sunday, and I, he's okay, like, he's gonna be fine, he's gonna be able to walk again, and it didn't do really that much brain damage, but it just, you know, it kind of reminds you, like, the people that you love, like this guy, that are around you, they can be up and walking and totally fine one day, one minute, and, like, the next minute, they're in the hospital, or they're dead, and it's just totally terrifying, kind of. And so yeah, I've just been kind of upset about that. And um went to class, went to Spanish class. I got some free coffee. I put two dollars in the coffee machine and then my coffee came back and two dollars worth of quarters came out and I was just kind of like, okay. Uh I read I've been reading a really good book, Mexico City Blues. Y'all know who wrote it? Then you get brownie points and I love you. I'm not gonna tell you who wrote it though. You can search it out because that gives you something to do. It's like it's like a little clue. It's fun. Just go with it. Um, yeah, so I did that. Spanish class. Um, then after Spanish class, we had a test in that class. Walked around. I love walking around downtown at night. I think it's beautiful. And I just, it exhilarates. When I'm listening to music and walking around downtown at night, I don't know. I feel like invincible and like I don't know it's just it's a weird feeling and it calms me down and I just really like it so I walked around downtown I went to Borders I got some peppermint loaf cake it was so divine thought I was in a dream it was so delicious I read some books there I just kind of you know cheated I, I don't know I just read books at Borders in the cafe and then put them back so whatever and uh, did that came home and now I'm sitting here doing this, talking to you people. 
what, what, what's up? Um, so yeah, how did I feel about today? I mean, it wasn't terrible. It wasn't like it was a bad day. I was just a slacker day, and I feel like that's how most of my days are, you know? One way I have to look at it, though, is, um, so I'm 17 and a half, right? And just think of all the people that were so much better than me. I, like, they're, I'm seriously completely average. So think of all the people that were so much better than me and had so much more potential when they, like, and they died when they were, like, 10. They didn't have, they didn't have as much time as I've had already. So if I had died today, it wouldn't, or tomorrow, I guess the question was, like, I wouldn't be totally depressed because I've already had, like, 17 and a half years to do absolutely nothing. Um, I would just more just be kind of disappointed in myself. Like, I slacked off. So hopefully with this blog and everything, and just, you know, with the new year coming up, I can just kind of, by the time I'm 18, when I do turn 18, things will be a little more whipped into place, and I'll be a little more responsible and everything. Um, that totally doesn't really answer the question. Today was just, no, I would not be happy with today if today was my last day. I mean, I would just be disappointed, and I wish I could have spent time with my friends and family, and just had a good time. I mean, I haven't really laughed, I mean, I laughed watching TV, but there's a difference between laughing when you watch TV and laughing, like, with other people. So, yeah, I just wanted to talk to somebody today. I think that's what you have to do on your last day, but, okay, my back hurts. Um, so that was the question. That was easy. It was gross. Easy peasy, little lemon squeeze. You can check back tomorrow. Hopefully there will be another video vlog. I'm not going to tell you what the topic of tomorrow's video vlog is, though. It's going to be a surprise. Do you like this light? I love this light. It makes me feel like Ariel in the freaking ocean. Like, hi, I found her. What's up? Oh my god, she found us. Uh, hi, Ella, what's up? You going to go to King Triton's ball tomorrow evening? Flounder, I told you explicitly not to invite her. Dear bitch, you ain't the boss of me. <laughs> I'm gonna dress as a mermaid princess. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. Well, I gotta go. Okay, bye. Bye. Sorry.